everybody and welcome back to another episode here on Dynasty Season 2. If you caught my last episode, we finished this uh, blacksmith tool armory shop here and now we're actually going to be moving our sights on to this plot of land right here where we're actually going to be building a wizard tower for our clerics. But first things first, we need to clear the land, kind of smooth and terraform things out a little bit tear down this building like we have the last few others, and then uh, we'll be getting into building. I really hope you folks like the time lapse, and I'll be right back with you. Alrighty, everyone. So I hope you like that little terraforming time, time lapse. Um, I know it was real quick. It didn't really take me long to get this area kind of leveled out and to the level I wanted it. it. Took me like five minutes to just kind of smooth things over and lay the grass back down. So we've got our shape laid out here. Um, I'm doing a circular tower for our clerics, uh, which are going to go here. So it's going to be a circular tower made out of deep slate variants and then the clerics are going to be up on a second floor which is going to have dutch or like um netherlands style bay windows or i guess they could be considered tudor too either way you'll see what i'm talking about um after we do the building time lapse i did want to just say um sorry my episodes have been kind of village centric lately and they've all kind of been a little the same, we're just doing different things with different villagers and building different builds together. Um, as you can imagine, the last couple of weeks, my world has revolved around these uh, villagers and this village. So, of course, my content is going to kind of revolve around what I'm working on at the moment. So right now it's the village, but soon we're going to be breaking off and doing some more exploration based stuff with Kaiju Frogo, and we're going to start doing some more stuff with our mountain off in the distance, and we'll have all sorts of other stuff going on that'll be a little less village-centric. Um, but yeah, right now I'm just grinding away, trying to get this village up to snuff, and getting it where I want it to be, and then move on to other projects. Because having a nice village where you're able to get all of the resources you need and plenty of XP to mend up all of your tools is pretty essential when it comes to doing any sort of bigger projects or anything along those lines. I think that's enough talking for right now, and we're going to go into our next time lapse, and I really hope you folks enjoy it, and I really hope you're having a wonderful day. It's uh, bright and sunny here today, so it's got me a little more chipper than normal, so I hope everyone's having an awesome day too. Alrighty everyone, so we have our cleric tower all built up. I actually very tongue-in-cheekly named it the House of Ill Repute. If you know anything about English, you know what a, a House of Ill Repute refers to. I don't know what the hell you're doing there. So you don't belong there. Pick you up. Alright, so you'll see we have a fancy looking ceiling here. A little scaffolding. I built a little seating area and a little storage down here. That way we have somewhere to set all of the crap that we're going to be getting from our clerics. Let's go up into the tower. How you doing boys? So here we are. We've got 12 clerics in here and you'll notice how I have the beds arranged. I have yet to have a single issue where these guys can't pathfind to their beds and their workstations and it's been a treat having all these clerics. Um, I like using glowstone a lot in my hidden lighting, and these fellas here are the easiest way to get that. 
And uh, I also plan on eventually setting up an automatic, um, like, mending station here in the village with Bottles O Enchanting, and you can't really do Bottles of o Bottles O Enchanting without clerics. So I figured 12 was a nice round number. It would make sure that I'd have all of the glowstone and all the redstone that I could need and all the Bottles O Enchanting that I could desire, so... I really like how this turned out. Eventually, we're gonna be replacing this hut with a river, and then we're gonna be putting a boat down there for our fishermen. On the other side of the cleric house, we're gonna be putting our butchers, and then over here, we're going to be putting our farmers and our sheep herders, and then up there on the hill, eventually, we're gonna be building an archery range and a place for our fletchers. And then over there, I think, is where we're going to put our um, mason guild. Either over there, or we may actually relocate them over here. I haven't really quite decided. Um, just kind of trying to figure out the layout of this village and how I want it to look. I really am loving how it's turning out, to be completely honest. It's got a lot of funky builds in it. It's got a lot of funky stuff going on, um, which is very much me and my style. So, can't say I hate it, because I love it. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider giving a like. If there are anything else you want to see me do, or if there's any sort of Minecraft topics you want to see me chat about, feel free to comment that down below, because I could literally talk ad nauseum about Minecraft, and I'm sure there's a lot of topics that I could talk about, but I get so scatterbrained I don't know what to talk about. So, if there are any specific topics or things that you'd like to hear about, please let me know, because um, I'd love to get into some more longer form chats with y'all. But I really hope everyone is having a wonderful day, and I hope everyone has a beautiful tomorrow, and I will see you in the next video. Later, everybody!